10 games from 3900 North Rockwell. For details, it's Cubs.com. Ballpark in all its glory under the bright sunshine today. And the Cubs in their throwback shy feds unis leading three to one and great to have with us Ed Hardig Cubs historian we get all kinds of great notes from Ed usually we just kind of throw out some sort of weird historical question and then I get an email about three minutes later Ed, uh, great to have you here as always uh, thank, thank you Len uh, and I am a real person too uh, I'm not someone made up so <laughs> there he is everybody <laughs> I, I do Ed exist <laughs> I, I'm not living in my mother's basement, as a lot of people uh, imply uh, for emails I get. <laughs> she lets you move upstairs? Well, at times. <laughs> the kitchen's up there, too, you know. So when did you start your database of just everything Cubs history and Wrigley Field related? Because I, I can't ask a question that you haven't researched in some fashion. Well, let me tell you, I, I grew up on the south side in the family, family of White Sox fans. So... Uh, Will get out of play. So when I was five, I started collecting clippings of Cub games. And I was very fortunate that uh, my, f my parents didn't throw that stuff away. So 40 plus years ago, Len. So you have newspaper clippings from how how long back? 40 plus years, Len. Okay, I got you. <laughs> but did you, have you found stuff, obviously, from 80, 90, 100 and, years ago in various places? Oh, yeah. And, and things are so much easier now than they were. I, I've been working for the Cubs about 20 years. Uh, uh, Ten years ago, you'd have to sit in the library and go through microfilm and all that fun stuff. Uh, nowadays, with the online databases, I, everything's a, a touch away. So, J.D., you were running the scoreboard while we were chatting with uh, the commissioner of baseball and then Cubs chairman Tom Ricketts. Um, uh, yes, I, I can't hit or pitch, but I can I can change the uh, batter number yeah. on the scoreboard. In a, and we got three runs, so. There you go, the Chicago Sunday Tribune. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. So J.D. brought up uh, the West Side grounds and then this ballpark. So give us kind of a, a the landscape of 1913 to 1916 when everything kind of changed here in terms of uh, ballparks and teams and leagues. Okay, so the, the Cubs would have been playing at the West Side grounds in 1913, actually since 1893 through 1915. In 1913, a, uh, a a new minor league called the Federal League starts. It's a real low-level minor league. There's a team in Chicago. They play over at DePaul University. Seats about 7,000 people. The plan for the league was to remain a low-level, independent minor league. Well, partway through the season, the there was an ownership change of the Chicago team, and the new owners for the Federal League said, or the Chicago Federal said. Why are we setting the bar so low? Why why not declare ourselves a third major league? Zero two, there's a base hit. So James Gilmore was his name. He uh, he was the owner and uh, chief financial backer of the Chicago team, and he convinced the other owners that yeah, let's give it a, let's give it a try. So the league go, goes ahead and declares itself a major league. Gilmore now needs someone to lead his Chicago team, and that's where Charlie Wiegman comes in. Charlie Wiegman had made a couple attempts to buy the Cubs. He uh, failed, obviously. He also uh, had made an attempt to buy the St. Louis Cardinals that fell through at the last minute. So he was desperate to get in baseball, so he, he jumped up the, at the opportunity. But he said, in order for me to do this, we need to have a major league quality ballpark. You know, DePaul Field just didn't do it. So we have a... Uh, Eight acres of land here on the north side. It's a former celery field turned seminary that ha had been vacant for about three, four years. So Wiegman signs a 99-year lease for the new home for his Chicago Federal League team. So we mentioned it was built very quickly. It was a bouncer foul. And uh, th there were some seminary buildings still on the property. So from the from demolition to the very first game, it was 60 days. Uh, there was a brief labor strike. Uh, there also was a brief time between the demolition and actual groundbreaking. So real building time was about 45, 46 days, something along those lines. Incredible. Two strikes to Montero, and it's low. And they had to reconfigure some things, right? Because uh, too many home runs occurred. 
right off the bat. The opening, the opening series here, there were you know nine home runs hit in three games. And this was during the time when you led the league with eight or nine home mm -hmm. runs. So they uh, they measured off the distance to the left field and they said, you know what, it's just it's just too close. One, two, two and two. Now one difficulty was there actually was a home on the northeast or on the north side of the of the of the park, and that person still had time on their lease and they weren't willing to leave. But the porch on the house was not covered in the lease. So they took the porch down and they backed the wall up all the way to the house. And they Sounds did. like a reality series. <laughs> And they did that, you know, uh, uh, after the you know, said after the first series here at the park. Swing and a miss, two outs. That speaks to the neighborhood feel of the ballpark. <laughs> literally, <laughs> I'm not leaving. <laughs> well, later well, in that what's season, for dinner that depends on what the concessions have. <laughs> <laughs> Late, later that season, actually, someone hit a ball that hit the house. But the, because the house was overhanging the wall, it was considered in play. So someone knocks on your window, you know, it could be a baseball. Aaron Hill with two outs. And a strike. So then the Cubs move in here in 1960. So the, the Federal League and organized baseball were involved in uh, multiple lawsuits over two years. And a lot of it had to do with the reserve clause. And the Federal League was signing players whose contract with the American or National League had ended. But organized baseball felt that those players still belonged to their teams. That was, a, that was the reserve clause. So right away, the, the, the lawsuits start. So for the most part, th during the two-year as a major league, the uh, the owners of the Federal League spent more time in the courtroom than at the ballpark. And uh, after two years, the two sides finally came to an agreement. Uh, the Federal League would fold. They would drop their lawsuits. But two owners would be able to buy into Major League Baseball. And one of them was uh, was Charlie Wheatman. Loop base hit in the right. Big day for Aaron Hill. Already three for three. And it continues. Is there any evidence to suggest that Wigman's plan was to do that all along, that ultimately he just wanted to join the existing major leagues? A or Actually, he I said he had made a couple of attempts, and he, he, he had all but signed the papers to buy the Cardinals in 1911. So he, he definitely wanted to be the Cubs, but definitely wanted to be in Major League Baseball. Right away, there were, with, with the Federal League, they started realizing the contracts were jumping up, and they were, they were overpaying for uh, second-tier players. Mm -hmm. So... Pretty much right away, there was negotiations to try to to, to combine the two leagues with Wiegman taking over the the, uh, the Chicago team. The problem is uh, Charles Murphy Taft. I'm sorry, Charles Webb Murphy and Charles Taft, who their owners didn't want to sell right away. Cody Ross with his first hit of the season, and he makes it a one-run game. He snaps an O for 18, and it's now three to two. But if Murphy could have. Weakman could have convinced Murphy and Taft to sell him a year earlier than he the league probably would have folded after one year and been done. A lot of Charles is around that. <laughs> Clearly. Of course you had Charles Ebbett, Charles Comiskey. So you, you've been asked this question, so I know the answer, but I've seen it in print. Uh, any event in the history of this ballpark you could have witnessed in person would have been what? Baseball-wise, I'll say Gabby Hartnett's home run okay. in, in 38. Yeah. Non-baseball, it'd be the ski jumping in 1944. Uh, yeah, I've seen seen pictures of the uh, of the ski jumping. It, uh, I mean, they pretty much started right where we are now and came down a makeshift hill and landed back at second base. This uh, this would have been in January of 1944. But I think Hartnett's home run, that, that baseball-wise, that's, that's the, game, the one game I would have liked to have seen. And the Feds were the Whales. You, you notice Short history, but it, several names. <laughs> you notice the, the Kansas City logo, it's Kansas City Feds. Almost all the teams at some point in time were called the Feds. Well, after, uh, after, after one year, Charlie Weekman says, no, this isn't going to work. So he uh, had to pick the name a fan contest and they came up with the name Wales. 0 and 2 on Owings. Pitch will stay alive. How about you, JD? What uh, 
you saw Kerry Woods 20 strikeout game but yeah he'll go on the way back machine uh, yeah probably the homer in the Gloman or any of the World Series game you know the Ruth mythical college shot just to be you know be around to see that 45 series 45 series with the Tigers see Hank Greenberg just to see Stan Hack and Phil Cavaretta yeah. and those guys play I would really like to go back and get that hanging slider I threw to Todd Zeal back. <laughs> if, if I could get, if I could go back in the way back machine for that. There's a homer in the Gloman. To me, that's the top baseball moment ever here at Wrigley Field. I know a lot of people say the Roots called shot, but uh, I don't believe he called the shot, so I, I can't call that the top moment. Barney. We'll make the catch. Ed, always a pleasure. Uh, I feel like you gave us a full book of history here. Uh, <laughs> well, in this I gave city. up one run in the broadcast booth. I got three you're, in the, you're, you're up two. the scoreboard. Three, two, feds over the Packers. You know, some people have told me reverse mortgages sound too good to be true. I mean, you get cash out of your home, no monthly payments, and still own your home. There's got to be a catch, right, Jesse? Well, there isn't. It's like any other mortgage, only with a reverse mortgage, the loan's paid back when the last borrower leaves the home. In fact, reverse mortgages are based on a notion that President Reagan signed into law over 25 years ago in order to help seniors remain in their homes. They're simply an effective way for folks just like you to get the cash you need to enjoy your retirement. Call 1-800-963-3258 now to receive a new free information kit, including a reverse mortgage guide and DVD, personal stories from people like you, and a brand new family guide for children and loved ones, all absolutely free with no obligation. With a government-insured tax-free reverse mortgage from AAG, you always retain complete ownership of your home. Call 1-800-963-3258 to receive your free info kit today. Wait! Prilosex not made for immediate heartburn relief. Zantac's different. Zantac rushes relief in as little as 30 minutes. Prilosec can take 24 hours. Zantac. No pill relieves heartburn faster. As you're sitting there and uh, negotiating, that's probably the most stressful part of buying a new car. The experience that I had with TrueCar. You don't feel intimidated. It's extremely simple. Save time, save money, and never overpay. Visit TrueCar.com. All we do is go out to dinner. That's it? I mean, he picks up the tab every time, which is great. He's using you. He probably has a city thank you card and gets two times the points at restaurants. Huh. The city thank you preferred card. Now earn two times the points on dining out with no annual fee. Go to city.com slash thank you cards. Make tonight a hit. America's Funniest Home Videos tonight at 6. Can't you hear me calling, Caroline? This is our Honda game summary. Start something special with great leases and low financing on a new Honda. Visit shophonda.com or visit your local Honda dealer. 3-2 advantage for the home team. And a 2-0 count for Miley to Rizzo. Make it 3-0. Coming up this Saturday on WGN and nationwide on WGN America, 4 o'clock Central, Wrigley 100, a century celebration. A fantastic two-hour look at 100 years of Wrigley Field. Billy Williams and Dick Butkus. Getting ready for the seventh inning stretch. There's Dutchie Carey. Right. Two of the biggest hitters in Chicago history. Yeah, well, well said. Here comes Mike Harkey, a former Cub. He's a pitching coach. A 
Another action, the Baltimore Terrapins with a 3-2 lead over the Indianapolis Hoosiers. They're in the top of the third. Maybe you'll find that on MLB.TV Premium, the number one live streaming sports service. They're celebrating 12 years. Join the millions of subscribers. Watch every out-of-market game live in true HD on over 400 devices. Visit Cubs.com for details. Brooklyn tip tops. 2-0 lead over the Pittsburgh Rebels in the first. I'm making all this up, but why not? Those, but you're not making up the names of those clubs. I am not. They were the The Chicago club finished in second place both years of the, of the Federal League. There's Brad Ziegler, the submariner. He's kind of their designated get out of the jam guy because he gets so many ground balls. Clean up an inning with a double play ball in a hurry. Foul tip. Two and one on Ruggiano. It was a full season in the Federal League that year. Most teams played between 154 and 160 games. The, the Feds led the league with 52 home runs. In 157 games. That ball hit deep out into right center. Justin Ruggiano with a two run homer. It's five to two. The wind has died down and Ruggiano with his first blast as a Cub it comes wearing the throwback uniform today and a three run lead Boy, home runs have been big in this series haven't they boy indeed they have well, backdoor cut fastball and Ruggiano had pulled off that previous pitch stayed on this one and well rewarded for his good approach at the plate. So Harkey out to have a chat that didn't work out so well now Montero's going out to buy a little more time for Ziegler. It was a three run homer by Travis Wood off Bronson Arroyo Monday night the big blow. Last night Mike Alt off Brandon McCarthy three run homer and a two run shot by Ruggiano will chase Miley today. You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? Yeah. I kind of did. Kill Bill Volume 1, Sunday at 11 on WGN America. Forget. Feeding your lawn need not be so difficult, neighbors. Get a load of this bad boy. Whoa. This snap spreader system from Scott's is snap, crack, and simple. Just snap, lock, and go. Feed your lawn. Feed it. We really wanted to take a relaxing trip to Florida. You know, just to unwind. But we can only afford one trip this year, and his high school reunion is coming up in Seattle. Everyone's going. Then we heard about Hotwire and realized we could actually afford to take both trips. See, when really nice hotels have unsold rooms, they use Hotwire to fill them. So we got our four-star hotels for half price. I should have been voted most likely to travel. H-O-T-W-I-R-E, Hotwire.com. Save big on car rentals, too, from $11.95 a day. Get all your favorites all day, every day. Olive Garden Signature Favorites just $10, including creamy fettuccine Alfredo and our classic lasagna, plus unlimited soup or salad and warm breadsticks. Signature Favorites just $10 all week long at Olive Garden.
Katie has aged well over the last decade, uh, century, century, I should say. That's happy birthday by Katie Perry on our Cubs fan cam. Brad Ziegler is on, and a 1 1 to Starlin Castro. Lifted to right. Para over, and he will not have a play on it. And Ziegler, one of the extreme ground ball pitchers in all of baseball. I mentioned that he's a good guy to bring in with traffic so he get a big double play. The traffic went away in a hurry when Ruggiano hit that ball into the seats, but he was hot and ready to go, so he gets the call. Making his 12th appearance. He's got a 174 ERA. Swing and a miss, strike three. That's the first out. Two run homer by Ruggiano giving the Cubs a 5 2 advantage. All five of their runs here in the last two innings. Curveball missed. Final from Atlanta. Braves over the Marlins, three to one. Evan Gaddis broke the tie in the eighth with a two-run double. Aaron Harang's ERA went up from 0 0.70 to 0 0.85. Got a no decision. Struck out 11 in his six innings. What a start. He had that invisible working, I'm sure. Alt went around. That's strike three. Thing in one. He broke his bat as he golfed it in the left, and it's caught by Cody Ross. For Katy Perry, happy birthday, Wrigley, as we head off to the seventh. Chevy Silverado from the family of the most dependable longest lasting full-size pickups on the road the truck that beats any Ford F-150 in fuel economy and the 2014 North American truck of the year and now during Chevy truck month the price you see is the price you pay for a 2014 Chevy Silverado use special truck month pricing to get a total value of over $8,100 on this Silverado all-star edition with best-in-class V8 fuel economy get to truck month at your Chevy dealer today all we do is go out to dinner. That's it? I mean, he picks up the tab every time, which is great. He's using you. He probably has a city thank you card and gets two times the points at restaurants. Huh. The city thank you preferred card. Now earn two times the points on dining out with no annual fee. Go to city.com slash thank you cards. If you miss the premiere of Salem, catch an encore of the show The Hollywood Reporter calls a sexy good time. She will show us the witch. Salem, the premiere encore tonight and an all-new episode every Sunday at 10, 9 central on WGN America. Hello. Hello yourself. I've been watching you all night. I noticed. 
Time for the official toast. Jack, Emma. Happy 10th anniversary. <laughs> the research is in. After years together, eHarmony couples report having more chemistry than couples who met in any other way. Stop waiting. Start communicating for free today. Page every Sunday night for your chance to own one of a kind game used cup items. This week's auction features the 1914 Shy Feds throwback uniforms worn for today's Wrigley Field 100th birthday game. Go to Cubs.com slash Authentics to bid on these jerseys and other game used items from today's game. Tony Campana leading off for the Diamondbacks slash Packers here in the seventh trailing five to two and they've dropped a ten of their last eleven as Jeff Samarja tries to get his first win. 2014. It was interesting watching uh, Jeff in the six after his club put those three runs on the board in the bottom of the fifth. He came out and found an extra gear. He was throwing 96, 97 miles an hour last inning. As if to say, okay, you guys finally got me some runs. I'm going to go to the whip here. But and ironically, the Diamondbacks managed to push a run across against him. He made a couple mistakes with his fastball, but chance to lock one down here. He's working in the seventh inning. For the fifth consecutive start. It's the uh, LED board out in right, put together by our own Mark Stencil. They weren't stenciled, although I guess figuratively they were. One and two on the former Cub. Oh, here's the uh, random factoid of the day. We haven't had enough of them yet. No, here's here's a good one. Okay. Jeff Samarja is only the second pitcher in the last 100 years, fitting, to work at least seven innings and allow fewer than three earned runs in each of his first four starts of the season, and yet come away with no wins. Holtz gets Campana. Jeff trying to snap that particular streak here today. Probably wondering who's the other guy? It would be Gordon Rhodes with Boston in 1933. That's one of my thoughts. I knew he'd be one of your guesses. Yeah. Cliff Pennington will hit for Ziegler. Stretch will be conducted uh, from downstairs today. Two balls and a strike on the switch hitting Cliff Pennington. Laced foul. Stretch brought to you by Budweiser, Fergie, Billy, Dick Butkus, Dutchy, Carey. We'll sing the stretch.
So Marge is 2 2. He freezes him on a fastball at 95 miles an hour. He froze him with some heat. Against left handed hitters, he likes to throw that two seamer off the plate in and then run it back to the inside corner. Well executed. That's his fifth strikeout on the afternoon. Hara one out of three. Hara's fourth at bat today, so Marja gives him a little different look. First pitch splitter. Good day to pitch. Wind blowing in. Cool. It's Trevor Cahill. Two starting pitchers demoted to the bullpen with this rough start. We saw the other one, Randall Delgado, last night. In relief. Swinging bunt picked up by the catcher Castillo. Lots of time. To end the inning, and it is now time for the seventh inning stretch brought to you by Budweiser. Today's guest conductors for Take Me Out to the Ball Game from field level Fergie Jenkins, Billy Williams, Dick Butkus, and Dunchy Carey. Birthday, also his hundred. Okay, guys, are you ready? A one, a two, a three. Feeding. Precious Salem caught up in a stinking witch panic. If you miss the premiere of Salem, afraid of witches or being taken for one, catch an encore of the show the Hollywood Reporter calls a sexy good time. She will show us the witch. Salem, the premiere encore tonight, and an all new episode every Sunday at 10 9 Central on WGN America. They say you get what you pay for, but sometimes you get a whole lot more. Like six irresistible tastes for just 99 cents each at Wendy's, where you always get more delicious for your dollar. Now that's better. What's the king do to save his world? Threaten my people with slavery and death. This is madness. This is Sparta. This is where we hold them! This is where we fight! This is where they die! Spartans, prepare for glory! Tonight we die in hell! One and one the count on Darwin Barney, Trevor Cahill now working for 
Arizona five to two Cubs. Ground ball to third. Loved by Prado. Goldschmidt one out. Okay, Hill, as Len mentioned in the rotation earlier, but really struggled. He was 0 4 with a 9.17 ERA and four starts before moving to the pen. You can see the overall numbers 0 and 4 with a 748. 8 and 10 last year with a 3.99 ERA. So Marja gave the Cubs the lead on a sacrifice fly in the fifth. Taking this at bat, so it looks like he'll go back out there for the eighth. There is action in the Cubs bullpen, so they'll probably just go batter by batter with Samarja. Don and Russell. Ball strike three. Swing and a miss by Bonifacio. One and two. Thirty two thousand three hundred twenty three in attendance today. Bonifacio, the birthday boy. And he's got a double. That's his stroke right there. And he hits the ball all over the field, but as a left handed hitter, a running fastball moving away. Plays right into his strength. Today would be the Cubs' first series clinching victory of the young season. The first three game winning streak. And it would drop the Diamondbacks to 5 and 19. One and two. Ground ball, backhanded play, Chris Owings, throw to first. He's out. 
And then they threw to the plate, even though the inning was over. I guess that's the fourth out play, right? The replay. <laughs> I would like to give them that much credit, but I think they forgot how many outs there were. It's, such is life for the Diamondbacks these days. Cubs will start the eighth with one out. <laughs> You will hang. She's not our enemy. She's just a girl. They are all our enemy. Witches are real, and they are here in Salem. Salem, all new, Sunday at 10, 9 central on WGN America. Are your joints ready for action? Take Osteobiflex. Osteobiflex nurtures and helps defend your joints because it's specially formulated with joint shield. So now you can keep doing and doing and doing what you love. Hi, Mom. Dad. What did you guys do today? The usual. Osteobiflex. Ready for action. What is this? What's going on? Well, where have you been? I was inside. Uh, it was nothing. No yard, no grill. It was just white and cold. It was winter, buddy. Just winter. Huh. Somebody get this man a burger! Winter's over. It's time to come out and grill. Kick off grilling season with tips and techniques at grilling.com. This is the car I fell in love with. Picking up my new Malibu. No way. In March, over 100,000 people visited our open house event and brought home a new Chevy. Oh, this me. month, it's All your right. turn. New lineup, new showrooms, and a new experience. Come find your Chevy today. Right now, get this sign and drive lease on a 2014 Chevy Malibu LT for around $249 per month. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Love those jackets, the ground screw. Is wearing today over in Wheatman Park. Name of this great ball field back in 1914. That song, St. Louis Blues. I think a lot of hockey fans in Chicago will be downloading that song uh, anytime soon, although they may be singing the blues yeah, there you in go. a week. How there about that? There's the angle. Samarja so continues on here in the eighth. I don't believe the Cubs have had a pitcher go away yet this year, have they? We can easily look it up. I don't believe so. Ed will know. Uh, through seven. Through seven is the longest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeff's done it uh, four times. Uh, Hamill's been there at least a couple of times. Travis Wood as well. Mm -hmm. Let's go around through the rotation. The starting pitching has been outstanding. Toronto grounds out to Barney. Producer of Cubs baseball on WGN Sports is Mark Brady. Our director is Skip Ellison. Doug Stanton, our, exec, our associate producer, our executive producer is Bob Forwald. Our stage manager in the booth, Paula Oscroba. Eric Johnson is our studio coordinator. Great work by our entire crew putting this festive day together here on WGN. One and one to Goldschmidt. Diamondbacks have out hit. The Cubs six to five. The Cubs lead where it counts five to two. We saw Russell and Rondon up earlier, and they're up yet again. Lizzo can't get it. Old Schmidt will make the turn and will have a standing two bagger. And let's step aside and see what's coming up on WGN. 
Start your weekends early with How I Met Your Mother on WGN America. These friends write the playbook when it comes to love laughs and pickup lines. How I Met Your Mother, Thursdays and Fridays at 8 on WGN America. So if we're going to have a pitching change as we come back to Wrigley Field. And it's Jeff Samarja who's looking for his first win of the season leading by three and I feel like he's playing Jack Morris to Sparky Anderson right yeah, now. Yeah it looks like yeah. uh, I think he wanted to go out and just <laughs> he give him an opportunity to lobby to stay in the ball game just to check in on him. He was shaking his head like no I'm, I'm I want to stay in Skip. So I'm wearing this jersey. You expect me to come out in the eighth? Pitch to Montero outside. Ball one. Batter to batter proposition at this point. You know, Jeff knows that. Aaron Hill on deck, and Hill has already gotten him for three hits today. Now, right about now, Ricky Renteria saying to himself, I wish I would have taken him out. See if he can get back in the count here. <laughs> and Terrell disagrees. <laughs> well, 3 0 Leo there from Todd Woodring on that 3 0 fastball. Looked like it was off the plate. We'll take a look at our pitch tracks. Yeah, that should have been ball four. Catch a break, take advantage of it. Nope. Oh. Tying run will come up. But it'll be against the Cubs bullpen. Hector Rondon coming in and a nice hand coming up for Samarja. Picking up my new Malibu. No way. In March, over 100,000 people visited our open house event and brought home a new Chevy. Oh, that's this me. month, it's All your right. turn. New lineup, new showrooms, and a new experience. Come find your Chevy today. Right now, get this sign and drive lease on a 2014 Chevy Malibu LT for around $249 per month. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. When it's Donut Friday at the office, I use my city thank you card to get two times the points at the coffee shop, which will help me get to a beach in Miami, and they'll be stuck at the cube farm. The city thank you preferred card. Now earn two times the points on dining out with no annual fee. Go to city.com slash thank you cards. You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? Yeah. 
I kind of did. Kill Bill Volume 1, Sunday at 11. Silly rabbit. On WGN America. Seven and a third innings for Samarja today. Uh, the run support has been there for him today. The defensive support certainly has been there. And now the bullpen gets their opportunity to help out. And Rector, or Hector Rondon comes in with those sparkling numbers. Schmidt at second. Montero at first. Hill fouls out of play. Pop that collar. That's oh, got that uh, 1985 yeah. look. Stylin. Rondon. Strike two, 96. Rondon second appearance in this series he worked a scoreless eighth inning in game one in the support of Travis Wood allowed a hit no runs had a punch out. That's a rally collar. Hey, the way it's going for the Diamondbacks, I, I wouldn't put it past them wearing their jerseys inside yeah, out. Yeah, whatever it takes, yeah. It's Kurt Gibson. He's trying to find a way to pull out a win. This team has dropped 10 of 11, and they're trailing by three late. One ball, two strikes on Hill. Here it comes to third. Dropped by Alt. And he dives to the bag. He had a chance at a double play. Pretty routine one, actually. But once that was off the table, he had to do what he could just to get an out. That yeah, ball jumps up on him, gets him in the midsection. A nice job staying with it, realizing the situation. and. Beating Goldschmidt to the bag. That could have been disastrous. Right about now, that heart just starts pounding. Still first and second. Now Montero in scoring position. Goldschmidt was forced. Kill the runner at first and a visit to the mound by the catcher Castillo. Of room though for Bonifacio to end the inning. Rondon gets out of the eighth. Cubs will try to tack on to their three run lead. You know, at Domino's, failure is an option. We know that not everything is gonna, gonna work. In order to get better, in order to move ahead, you're gonna make mistakes. Have you ever heard of the cookie pizza? I don't want to talk about it. 
If we gave up after every mistake, we wouldn't come up with something new like our specialty chicken. We take our boneless white meat chicken and bake our toppings, sauces, and cheese right on top. Order two of our new specialty chicken or medium two-topping pizzas for only $5.99 each. We cannot be afraid to fail. It sounds crazy, but it's who we are. Jim's hair is perfect. So is his serve and his mandarin. Shit. Oh, shit. But like up to 90% of Americans, Jim falls short in getting important nutrients from food alone, making Jim more like us. Add one-a-day multivitamins, rich in key nutrients you may need. We need it right away. We cannot let the fans down. Don't worry. The United States Postal Service will get it there on time with priority mail flat rate shipping. priority has always been saving the day because our priority amazing is you the amazing spider-man 2 delivered by the united states postal service maybe the round one way off a little more to the left fire all four bullseye four flavors four shapes cheetos mix-ups WGN America is the only place where oh, oh, oh. Wednesdays rule. Rules of engagement tonight at 8 on WGN America. This is where we hold them. This is where we fight. This is where they die. The narrative has uh, played out just beautifully today as the home team has the lead here in the late innings. Teacher and pupil. He's been a good student, hasn't he? Hector Rondon. Yeah, boy, he really has come along nicely towards the end of last year and getting off to a great start this year. Chris Fazio talking to him maybe about uh, pitch selection. Chris Fazio, yesterday was the anniversary of his uh, no hitter he pitched for the Mariners against the Red Sox back in 1993. And I happened to be listening to the uh, Mariner game on the radio on my drive home last night. And Dave Valley, who caught that no hitter, was, was being interviewed. And he said that uh, after the first inning, he went up into the. Boz was really hot because he walked a couple guys. Let's see. Shortstop, I believe, who made that play, Chris Owings. Yeah. So, uh, Boz went up into the clubhouse after the first inning, and Valley followed him up just to kind of talk. And he said Boz was up there firing chairs and just red hot. Apparently, he had been sick before the game. And when asked about that, yeah. Valley said, "Well, you know, uh, you know what his pregame meal was, don't you?" And, uh, and Rick Riz, I think, was interviewing him, and, and <laughs> said, "No." And he said, "Well, Boz, before every start, would eat not one but two." Quarter pounders with cheese from Mickey D's. <laughs> that was his pregame meal. <laughs> That's old school there. One and one to Ruggiano. Swing catches interference. Something wasn't right. I thought. Well, we'll see. He's been called out on a strikeout. I mean, it might have caught one of the, the laces. Yeah, it's too later. late now. Yeah, it's too late.
One ball, no strikes on Castro. Guessing that would be a tough one to get a definitive look at. Like Pedro Strope will get a chance to earn a save in the ninth. Unless the Cubs add on here. Castro couldn't hold up, and that's the inning. We will head off to the ninth. Cubs leading five to two. You and I, you and I, oh how happy we'll be. Get out of Salem or you will hang. She's not our enemy, she's just a girl. They are all our enemy. Witches are real, and they are here in Salem. Salem, all new, Sunday at 10, 9 central on WGN America. As the host of a popular home improvement show, I know a lot about finding a great contractor for home repairs and improvement projects. Now there's HomeAdvisor.com, a free service that matches your project to top local service professionals. We didn't have to do any work other than say what we needed. Just one, two, three, I found my guy and everything was smooth. And it's always free to use. We've had nothing but fabulous every single time. Go to HomeAdvisor.com now to get started on your next project. Home Advisor. Donut Friday at the office, I use my city thank you card to get two times the points at the coffee shop, which will help me get to a beach in Miami, and they'll be stuck at the cube farm. The city thank you preferred card. Now earn two times the points on dining out with no annual fee. Go to city.com slash thank you cards.